have diaries, probably more videotapes. This is the truest evidence. All the girls just want to get out, so they try, like, they can be athletes, they can be gymnasts, they can be ballerinas, they can be models, they can be prostitutes. Most of the time, they do a combination of both, or, I mean, often, yeah, they do. There are certain agencies, like, high-class agencies that will help facilitate and especially once, if you have the experience of making money and you are a model, you only know how to make money as a model. If you're not making money as a model, you just know you're a beautiful girl who uses her body, so it's kind of natural to think, well, I could, I sell my body for the camera, and what's the difference? Even, did you see, you know the DVDs I gave you? And you can see sometimes the girl presented herself in a certain way, the castings in Russia. Sometimes it was clearly like she was presenting herself as a sex object. Sometimes she was just a young girl. I mean, those, those tapes are widely distributed. And of course the goal is, is that they get placed in modeling agencies, but the reality is, is that they get placed other places too. And I, I, I don't have firsthand experience of, of these things. I mean, I'm, I'm not obviously <laughs> participating in this. So it's just, it's just normal to be a prostitute for them, you know? Maybe it's, it's easier than being a model, I don't know. I mean, in a lot of countries, prostitution is not considered a terrible thing. Um, I don't really acknowledge that it, that it exists. 